reaction. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Check me out here. And I'm excited because next to me, I have my first ever custom piece. So before I get any further into this video, I first gotta give a huge thank you to NZXT for not only sponsoring this video, but also for sending this out because y'all, if you didn't know, your girl used to game. I used to game heavy. I was in the era of Black Ops <laughs> and I had, you know, the little Turtle Beach headset and all of that, but I was gaming on another console. So I'm excited to experience that up here. So this is gonna be my first time ever gaming on, you know, a build like this, cause I bought computers before that you couldn't build, but the cool thing with NZXT is that they let you customize your build and they basically build it for you. So it's great for people like me where I like Windows and I want the custom experience, but I have no idea how to build one of these things. Now, spec wise, this one's pretty much top of the line. So we're gonna throw some specs up on screen that give you the details, but uh, this is going to be great not only for gaming, but also for even editing videos um, are doing things in that space. If a computer's good enough to game, then it should be good enough to also create content because gaming requires so much, which is completely fine in this case because my model has the Western Digital Blue 570, which is known to be great for like creators as well due to the fact that you can quickly create content while maintaining low power consumption. Plus Western Digital is offering one month free of Adobe Creative membership with this SSD. Another nice thing about having the Western Digital technology inside like this is that you'll have faster rendering speeds and rendering times, which helps a ton with editing because I know how difficult personally it can be when your computer slows down your entire work Flow. So you definitely want something that can keep up with you now and keep up with you later. And I personally feel this will be it. So first thing in here is the quick start guide. Also have a power cable in here. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. This is what it looks like inside for those of you that are curious. All right, we also have some extra power supply cables here. Oops. All right, what else fell? We also have some documentation here that came inside. And we also have an assortment of hard drive cables here. Now, let's get this styrofoam off. Okay, so finally got this out the box and there are already some things I'm like seeing that I like. One, the tempered glass side here. And on top of that, we have padding to keep things nice and protected. So to get in, all I have to do is like unscrew it from the back here and pull this down. And as for these fingerprints that we're already starting to see up here, they're actually not really there because there's a plastic film that I can just peel off and that'll remove those. Now, I also got the lift mouse from NZXT and their function keyboard. So especially for those of you out there that are into content creation or you wanna get into content creation and gaming, this right here is an ideal setup for you, especially in the Windows PC world. Now, as you can see in here, one thing I will say about NZXT is that if a component doesn't meet their standard, they will actually make it themselves. Like the Kraken all-in-one liquid cooler and their signature cases. Plus they don't charge a you know $99 build fee and they offer a two-year warranty on all of their parts. So let's get this set up. <sighs> Your girl's about to game, Lord, I have not gamed in years. Not, I mean like, I've done light gaming, you know, I do Animal Crossing and such. And honestly, this is what I plan on creating out my live stream setup for uh, my gaming channel that I have been talking forever about. <laughs> I've really been struggling, like I am with this screw. I've really been struggling with getting a proper setup established. So this is like right on time. Okay, all right, so now I have everything set up in front of me and this is just, I don't know, this is a good looking setup. So the keyboard here, we have actually a magnetized wrist pad come through. I'm here for it. And the mouse, you know, we got the Stormtrooper and the Oreo <laughs> keyboard here. <laughs> I think of all the black and white things. This is just like so satisfying, touching a keyboard like this. I was sitting here talking and I'm like, I don't remember the last time I've used a mechanical keyboard. But anyway, we're not gonna go down that rabbit hole. 
What we are gonna talk about though is what we have inside of here. So what I have is an Intel CPU, which you can kind of consider like the brains of the computer. Then I also have my graphics card in here that's gonna help power through intense sessions of video editing and gaming. And then to handle all of my multitasking needs, I have 32 gigs of RAM. And then at the bottom here for long-term storage, I have a one terabyte NVMe, which basically ensures that, you know, I'm getting the fastest speeds possible. Now on top of the items here in front of us, I also discovered in the package that we have some keycap removers. So it's set there. But outside of that, oh yeah, can't forget to talk about the ports that I have. So I got my power button up here on the top, USB, USB-C, a headphone jack, and then some additional ports along the back. Now, the moment we have all been waiting for, let's get this thing on. I'm ready, ooh, to see it light up. Y'all have to bear with me. Like some of y'all might be like, this is nothing to you, but I've never had a custom built PC. set up. Now this is pretty neat because I mentioned having a one terabyte hard drive up here but I actually have another one here that hasn't been allocated meaning like it's there but it doesn't know that it's there. So I'm gonna set this one up to be specifically for gaming so that basically hold up let me move this out. So I have one terabyte just to run game strictly off of and then another terabyte to run everything else. So this is something that's pretty neat. You can actually turn this wheel here to quickly adjust the volume. Now, something to note is like, normally when you might do a PC build, the different components inside might be from different companies. So then that means you have to have a different app per piece or per component to control that component further. But being these are NZXT components, then we can just come in here to their app and open it up and start controlling things. My favorite, as simple and basic as it is, is lighting. So you can adjust the color and the color intensity or brightness of so many different parts of the PC. So I can change the color of the strip. And not only can I change the color, I can even change the effect so that it does a fading effect instead or a breathing effect. You'll also notice that I can even change the NZXT logo. So I'm looking forward to running this further through his paces for gaming, but so far so good. I like what I'm seeing here. Now I am getting back into the groove of things, so bear with me, do not judge my skill right now. You know, I'm warming up. One thing I can say that I found very advantageous is the fact that my system configurations could keep up with the requirements of the game. So basically as you know, not lagging or anything like that. Everything has been super responsive and smooth from my more intensive game sessions to my more leisurely game sessions. I've enjoyed it all. Uh, I'm excited. This is going to be a journey. It's a new one for me. So this one's maxed out a lot, which is, like I said earlier, gonna just make it pretty optimal for what I'm gonna be throwing at it. So you might find me on a little war zone or something playing, cause anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. We're gonna end it right here. As always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.